King Charles has been warned he can't put the genie back in the bottle after attracting controversy for meeting with Ursula von der Leyen at Windsor Castle, just after she and Rishi Sunak announced they had struck a post-Brexit deal regarding Northern Ireland and its trading arrangements. Journalist and royal reporter Camilla Tomini has now suggested the monarch can no longer appear politically impartial, as the meeting was seen by some as an indication of the king's tacit approval of the deal. The British monarchy is expected to remain apolitical and not show support nor condemnation of any political party or agreement. However as Ms Tomini pointed out, Charles has found himself in trouble for his interfering politics when he was still Prince of Wales. Speaking on GB News she said, that's the trouble with Charles. You can't put the Charles genie back in the bottle when he was accused as Prince of Wales of sending black spider memos and interfering politics. He is in a different role completely now and his people have always insisted he will rule differently to how he behaved as the longest serving heir apparent in history. The Brexit deal has been named the Windsor Framework due to the location of the final talks. GB News host Nigel Farage has slammed the official Downing Street line as utter baloney, as Foreign Secretary James cleverly said it was not unusual for the King to meet senior international representatives when they visit the UK. Mr Farage has claimed the meeting between the King and Ms van der Leyen is significant, saying, I know from the past because I was there twice when Charles visited the European Parliament, spoke in European Parliament, praised the European Parliament, praised the institutions of the European Union. He also asked for the institutions to have more power, so I know what he thinks. But I fear that today, many people, not just the unionist community in Northern Ireland, but actually many people who want Charles to succeed will be very upset by this. The King and Queen consort Camilla's first royal tour looks likely to be taking in place in Europe, with a trip to France and Germany expected at the end of March. Miss Tomini added, it's not a good look to be dragged into the political fray in this light at all. The other thing that slightly complicates matters is that their first tour as king and queen consort is to Europe, and not the Commonwealth. It's not confirmed yet, and I await details which I think are coming next week. Again, that's raised some eyebrows because the idea of him even taking over as Commonwealth head of government is controversial after his late mother. i